It's a really neat festival, and they're so excited to have it at back to full capacity this year in downtown French Lick. And I've got Jason Emmons here. He runs a Bear Hollow Wood Carvers, uh, and he's also one of the 16 artists. So you're going to do a little something for us this morning, but you can't just, I guess you could just chop into the wood, but you're not going to. Explain your process to me. Yeah, um, kind of the flat work or whatever. Obviously, you can't really draw into a log. You know, okay. If you were to draw some images and things on a log, you're cutting it off right away. That's true. So really, what, what, what I'm kind of doing is drawing on the flat, getting my idea. Um, if you can't tell what it is, you got to stay tuned to see what it is <laughs> at the end. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of familiar, familiarizing yourself with what you're about to do. So just putting some sketched in lines, just references. And like I said, even when I start carving this, the lines will disappear. But it's more about like training your brain, especially early this morning. I know, uh, I know, to do right? The right thing. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be carvers doing this kind of stuff all weekend, mostly oh on gosh. those big, I'm going to call yeah. them a tree trunk, really. Yeah, yeah, Where do yeah. you get all this? Uh, all these are harvested locally okay. uh, right here in southern Indiana. All this wood is pine. Uh, we have a couple mills that know about this event every year, and then they just set aside some of their larger white pine logs that they, they harvest throughout the year and set them aside just for this event. I'm just looking around at all of your chainsaws. How many do you think you use to carve one oh piece? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Like this, this one is a small one, and it's quick because, you know, we're, we got time. We got time limits, yeah. yeah. So probably only a couple chainsaws okay. for this one and some power tools and but grinders and things like that. With oh, a we're loaded. Up. We're loaded. I carry around all the time at least 11 to 12 chainsaws, um, and you'll have that every single guy. And uh, when, at least 10, 10 chainsaws per. When the artists aren't here all together, which is uni a unique situation, that's why the Block Bash is so cool. They're traveling across the country and and, and the world even. Yes. Yeah. Um, Where's the farthest place you've been? The coolest place? Uh, we do a lot in, in, in different areas. They're all cool. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? We do Pacific Northwest is awesome uh, here. Uh, September 30th, we get on an airplane and we're shipping equipment down as we speak to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We'll wow. be down there. I'll take a crew of six carvers and we'll be there for the big balloon fiesta, which is absolutely amazing. All yeah. right, we're going to cut into some wood um, the next time you guys check in with us. And I asked Jason, I was like, I'm, I'm watching him draw this. And I was just like, do you just like, can you just do this at your in your sleep at this point? And he's like, yeah, because I am doing it in my sleep this morning because it's so early. <laughs> so come out here later today when everything starts at 10, too. That's, That's a sounds... true test of his, of his talent, right? And it sounds dangerous. <laughs> he's about to uh, <laughs> yeah, rev up a chainsaw. That's why we're going to do it next time. All right. We have more faith. He'll wake up by then. Yeah.